Hi, in this video we will learn how to create an interactive dashboard like this one uh, where you can live filter the dashboard based on different criteria like the amount range, the quarter or the countries. The end result will be something like this. Um, a source, a couple of group buys, uh, some charts and a layout. To start, I'm going to create a new deck and in this case um, I'm going to call it interactive dashboard and I'm going to create a CSV as source uh, because I have the data in a CSV file but this also works for any other kind of source like Excel, JSON, a webhook or anything else. So I have my CSV here, here I'm going to uh, drop it, sales CSV I'm going to say I want to store it so that when the deck or the dashboard loads, uh, it has this uh, data I just dropped as the content. Whenever I have some new data, I can just drop it and uh, save it, and that will become the data that's displayed. And anybody looking at this uh, dashboard will uh, see the updates uh, instantly. So we have our CSV. And to make all the charts in the dashboard interactive, uh, the first step is to create a filter card that's over here. We can add all the columns from the source. So I will click here on the value placeholder and select add all from the CSV source. So now we have our filter, which uh, is not filtering anything at the moment. Everything is in the output. So we want to filter by country. So I will uh, drag the country um, field from here and drop it over here, drop a field here to add a new filter. I want to also filter by quarter and I want to filter by amount in a range so I will drop it twice. So now we have four filters here, we can see them, we can also see them clearly if uh, I set it to read only, we can see the fields here. Um, in the dashboard I'm showing I have two filters per column so I will do it like this, so we have country and quarter and then amount. In the demo I'm doing, um, the filter for country is a multi-select, so I will select that, and the, the filter for quarter is select. Of course, you can select the, the kind of filter you want. And the filter is, the first one is greater or equal, so let's change the label to reflect that, and the second one is less or equal. So let's put it like this, so it's clear which one is which. So now we are done. If we play with the filter, we can see in the output how it changes. So now, from now on, it will be the same process for all charts. And uh, we're going to create a group by. Let's start with amount by country. So I drag the amount column from the filter, not from the CSV output, and drop it on select value. Sum is OK. I select country. So now we have a sales by country. If I want to give a, a better title to the card, I can control and double click and it will give it a descriptive name based on the query. So now I want to create a chart, in this case and uh, the world map. So I will select at the bottom right the magic wand and select a chart amount sum by country as area map over here. It's almost done except that we want to make the color according to a number. So I will select the amount sum field here in the chart and select the magic wand and select the trick number to color in range. So now we have a new value, that's a color in the range of uh, this field. So uh, I'm going to either drag it and drop it into the label here, color. So that's what I'm going to do. The alternative is to click on the label and select it from the list in the formula editor below. So now we have our first chart. I'm going to go back to the filter. It will be almost uh, the same process for all of them. Um, I usually create uh, the new cards below the filter, so I have it closer. And uh, before I create the group by and I dragged and dropped the columns, an alternative is to click on the uh, placeholder and search for the filter section and select the fields from there. So what we can do is uh, amount by, and I click the key here, so now it's uh, whenever I select something, it will be in the key. Um, by uh, year and quarter. So that's the other way to do it, uh, to click the placeholder and select it from the list that appears. 
Uh, something I forgot and it's uh, important, or at least for presentation, is um, on the filter, sort first by year, then by quarter, and then by country. So the, the data in the chart is sorted by first by time and then by country for all of them. So uh, you can see the sort order by hovering over the, the sort icon and you will see a tooltip and it will tell you the sort order number. If you are not sure, you can reset them and as by clicking it until it uh, disappears and selecting it again. So now I have the group by, uh, saves by year and quarter, which in this case is, uh, we don't have that one. Well, I, I will do sales by year and quarter here for the grouped uh, chart. So I will select the magic wand again and I will select grouped. So uh, now we have sales by year and quarter. And again, I can, um, I can play a little bit with the margins. So I select the settings on the right of the chart and go to margin and make the margin button uh, five because uh, the labels are small and and enough to, to fit. So I can collapse the settings. We have our second chart and let's go back to the filter. Let's create a third one, group by, let's do by country and quarter. So again, amount by country and quarter. And in this case it's a stack chart. So I will select the magic wand and select stacked. You can select other ones if you want. As you can see, the color for quarter is the same uh, between charts, so you can easily uh, compare visually the colors. And let's do, let's give it a title over here. And let's do the last one, I think. Well, no, we have two to go. Uh, so by line and country. So I will create a new group by amount sum by line and country let's give it a title and i could use the magic wand by selecting uh, this heat map but i will do it manually to show so i will create a new card i will select a uh, chart i will drag amount sum by line and country and then here it will automatically select one chart type but i will select heat map and it looks okay. I think the order is reversed. Line is below. It can be okay, but if you wanted to change it, um, you can exp expand the settings. And here you have category, country, subcategory, line. So we can put line on category and country on subcategory. So now it's uh, the same way as uh, in the dashboard. And the last one is um, kind of the easiest one just add a new card select chart click on the value placeholder go to the filter section and select add all so it will add all the sections to the chart and by default it will select the table because uh, it's one of the few that uh, can work with so many uh, values and no keys and we are going to remove some like the code so i will click here on the code in the input list and uh, remove it and confirm so we don't want that one the other ones are okay. So now I will go to the end. I can either scroll or I can click, uh, click here on the last uh, icon on the outline to jump to the end. And below the last one, I will create a layout card. And let's name it um, sales dashboard. And I will add two extra rows to the grid to have more space. I will drag the filter to the top and make it wide as the screen. I can start arranging a little bit so I can put the map over here, the table over here. I don't remember the layout in the other one but doesn't matter, you can place them however you want. And let's make this one wider. 
And now I can click here on the settings on the bottom left of each card uh, of yeah each cell on the on the layout and uh, disable show title. I prefer it like that. I think the charts are descriptive enough. You can leave the titles if you want. And now when we are done, we can go here, we can preview how it will look like. And we can go to share and click the share icon and we will get a link. In this case, I'm sharing it only with me, so I have to be authenticated to see it. You can select another way of sharing or you can give a list of users uh, to access. So now I have the link and I will open it. And uh, the arrangement is a little bit different, but uh, the idea is kind of the same. So if I change the filters, the dashboard will update. So this was how to create an interactive dashboard from a CSV. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comment section below. Bye.